When I made this video just four years ago reviewing the very first EcoFlow Delta product, many people were skeptical and didn't really think it would work out. But fast forward four years later, and this product went on to become a worldwide bestseller. But now they've changed the landscape again with their new flagship product, the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra. And today we're going to be looking at this unit in detail and putting it through a series of real tests. The overall specs on this unit are literally insane. The output is 7200 watts and it has two solar inputs. They can handle 1600 watts on one and 4000 watts on the other. The battery chemistry inside is lithium iron phosphate as you'd expect and the battery lifespan should be well over 10 years. And finally, this model can output both 120 volt and 240 inside one unit. No more switch boxes or combiners. The Delta Pro Ultra is completely modular, not just the batteries and the head units, but even the system that carries it. This trolley is their heavy duty model, but they've also got a lower profile one if you put it in a tighter space that doesn't have the larger wheels. And there are no different levels of power units, meaning you can start with just a single battery in the setup I've shown here, or you can expand it to the maximum, which is up to three stacks of these things and 15 batteries. And finally, no more goofy cables on the sides. None of us like those coffee cup type cable connections. Instead, these guys solved it. These cables are low profile. They easily connect into the ports and lock. You can even physically turn that small screw and permanently lock them in position so no one can mess with them. And unlike something like a Tesla Powerwall that requires professional installation, this one simply turns on with a single button. The Delta Pro Ultra is loaded with ports, but you don't really see them because they're underneath these covers. But for the first time ever, those goofy rubber covers are gone that most of us were just tearing off. These covers can be flipped up, they can even be removed permanently, and others can be pushed directly into the machine. If you're off-grid with no Wi-Fi access, you're really going to like this feature because you can finally include a 4G module. Now that is an option, but that allows you to communicate with this unit from anywhere in the world as long as you've got cell service. Additionally, they've given everyone the ports they were asking for, starting with Anderson power poles on the top, you've got a solar input on the middle, and finally that's an AC charging port on the bottom. Remember there's two ways to use this. You can connect things directly to the unit itself, or you can interface it to your house that I'll show you later in the video. You've got plenty of connections on the front of the unit. You've got four standard 20 amp 120 volt plugs. You've got a 120 volt RV style 30 amp plug. And then my favorite, this is your 240 30 amp outlet. And this single connection can completely replace a gasoline powered generator. And now it's time to really test this thing out and see what it would be like during a power outage. But I don't really trust anyone, so I am gonna check the voltage on that 240 volt port. Now don't panic when you see 120, because you get 120 on each leg, and together we do get the correct 240. If you're not familiar with other power products, this might not seem like such a big deal, but having that 240 volt outlet inside one unit is a game changer. Now I can connect it using my standard interlock outlet, and all I've gotta do is connect it up with a generator cord. Now unlike testing something on a bench, this is the real deal. I'm gonna begin by turning off my main breaker. I've simply gotta slide that interlock plate upward and I can put the interlock breaker on. But of course the lights are still off because I do need to push that AC button to turn the inverter on on the Delta Pro Ultra. And now just like magic, all the lights are on in my house and any other appliances were running before the power was out. Now 2600 watts might sound like a lot, but I suspect that my heat pump is running and that's probably taking most of that electricity. This is a Mr. Cool heat pump that I installed last year and I shared this video. This one pulls about 20 amps of electricity at maximum, but it's nowhere nearly drawing that right now, but it is in heating mode. And the outside compressor is working fine as well. I've also got another boiler down in my basement. This one provides heat to different parts of the house and it's also using 240 volts of electricity and it's working just fine. 240 volt is a really big deal, especially if you've got a well, because no power means no water, and here my well pump is working just fine, but here is a feature that will really blow your mind. Now many units in the market in the past could be charged while they were outputting power, but this is very different. You can charge this with 120 volts electricity while it's outputting 240 volts. And this can be a game changer. Many of you already own a 120 volt gas generator, other power stations, and now you can make use of them. Say you buy one of these Delta Ultra Pros and you wanna extend the battery life and you only bought one battery. Now you can connect those things to the 120 volt line going in, but still be outputting 240 volt. That can allow you to greatly extend the runtime with just a single battery. But I wanted to make sure this really worked. So while I was charging it partially and outputting 240 volt, I tested my electric dryer.
No issues whatsoever with the dryer, and here on the screen in the included app, you can see the output is about 6.36 kilowatts, but I'm charging at just about 1.7. Again, I'm still using more power than I'm actually putting in, but if I've already got other equipment around that I want to get some benefit from, this allows me to charge it while I'm outputting power, greatly extending my runtime. Now, of course, this thing uses batteries as its power source, so you will need to recharge it. That can be done via AC or solar. Here, I'm going to test out high-speed charging using a 120-volt, 30-amp outlet. This one is just an inexpensive outlet that I installed myself on a dedicated breaker, but you can also charge this if you've got an electric vehicle charging port in your garage. You can even select the rate of charge. You can control how much wattage is being pulled in, but I wanted to crank it up to its rated limit of about 3,500 watts, and it seems to be working just fine. But one thing is a little strange. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. Fans have just turned on and they are barely audible. This is very different than the older style power stations when they were fast charging. They've added a ton of cooling inside this Delta Pro Ultra, so even at the highest speed of charge you can barely hear anything at all. Now for me, I like that interlock setup. It's easy, it's inexpensive, and it allows you to connect anything to that interlock outlet without much trouble. But if you want to go for the best, EcoFlow has introduced a brand new smart home panel version too. They had this two years ago, but this one takes it to a higher level. It allows you to connect up to three stacks of the Delta Pro Ultras together that combines both the wattage and the battery capacity. One of these panels will get installed like a typical circuit breaker panel, except it's smart. Each of the breakers that goes in those slots can be individually controlled. This handles the power charging, the discharge, and you can even connect a gas generator to one of the breakers. Now the panel alone isn't particularly expensive, but by the time you get it installed, there will be a significant fee, but you gain a lot of benefit. So if you're someone that wants a complete system using the EcoFlow head units along with this panel, and you don't want to really worry about connecting anything up manually, this is definitely your solution. I'm going to feature this in an upcoming video where I do a full install. When it comes to solar charging, you will not find a better unit on the market. This one can be charged using smaller panels, bigger arrays of panels, because it does have two completely separate solar inputs. One of them is rated for up to 1600 watts, the other can handle 4000 watts of power, and that's just one stack. You can install two or three stacks and combine that solar input charging to even greater amounts. Now when it comes to the price, these things are not cheap, but fortunately getting one battery along with an EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra is in fact cheaper than if you bought two of them in the past along with a dual voltage hub, which would give you the 240 volt power. Now you're getting less components for actually less money, but you're getting much more output and of course you can expand it. And they've already proven that EcoFlow has been a super stable platform, but my advice might be a little different here. I'm going to recommend that people purchase just a single Delta Pro Ultra head unit along with one battery. That's a complete system. That's an easy way to get started. And EcoFlow is giving a special discount that I've put in the top comment as well as the description. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Silver Symbol channel for more videos coming up.